हेलो दोस्तों नमस्कार आई एम जेके वी आर लर्निंग कंक्रीट टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम डॉक्टर के मोहन सर डॉक्टर के मोहन सर वाज फॉर्मर डायरेक्टर जनरल ऑफ एनसीसीबीएम ही ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द वर्कबिलिटी ऑफ कंक्रीट नाउ टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट डॉक्टर के मोहन सर टू टेल एस अबाउट व्हाट आर द प्रोसीजर टेस्ट टू चेक द वर्कबिलिटी ऑफ द कंक्रीट जस्ट लाइक स्लम टेस्ट कंपैक्शन फैक्टर टेस्ट वीवी कंसिस्टेंसी टेस्ट देर आर वेरियस वर्कबिलिटी टेस्ट अवेलेबल टू मेजरिटी सो मेनली द थ्री टाइप्स आर देयर टेस्ट मेथड्स फॉर वर्कबिलिटी मेजरमेंट्स दे आर नंबर वन स्लम टेस्ट सेकेंड इज कंपैक्शन फैक्टर टेस्ट थर्ड इज वीवी कंसिस्टेंसी टेस्ट so i'll discuss one by first slum test it is the most common method for measuring the workability of freshly mixed concrete it is a field test it can also be performed in laboratory it is suitable for medium to high workability of concrete it is not suitable for very wet or very dry concrete it is also not suitable for concrete containing aggregates larger than 40 mm uniformity of the concrete regarding workability and quality aspects can be assessed from best to best by observing the nature in which the concrete comes now i will discuss about the procedure of uh, this slump test this test is carried out with a mold called slump cone which is in the form of the frustum of a cone having top diameter diameter of 10 cm bottom diameter 20 cm and height 30 cm in the video the operator has been shown so the uh, i'll now talk about detail procedure so first the internal surface of the mold is clean and while is applied then mold is placed on a smooth horizontal non porous base plate and then mold is filled with the prepared concrete mix in four approximately equal layers then each layer with 25 strokes of the rounded end of the tamping rod of of steel 16 mm diameter and 60 cm long and rounded at one end is stamped in a uniform manner over the cross section of the mold for the subsequent layer the tamping should be should penetrate into the underlying layer then excess concrete is removed and surface is leveled with a cloth and then mortar or any leaked water between mold and the base plate is cleaned cleaned away then raise the mold from the concrete immediately and slowly in vertical direction and measure the slump as the difference between the height of the mold and that of high point of the specimen being tested the slump that is vertical settlement measured shall be recorded in terms of millimeters of substance uh, subsidence of, of the specimen during the test when the slump test is carried out following are the shape of the concrete slum that can be observed so a uh, uh, different uh, slums first is true slum if the concrete slums evenly all round it is called true slum true slum is the only slum that can be measured in the test the measurement is taken between the top of the cone and top of the concrete after the cone has been removed the, uh, the, uh, this has been shown in the in the in the figure then zero slump if there is no slump it is called zero slump zero slump is the indication of very low water cement ratio which results in dry mixes this type of concrete is generally used for road construction collapse slump if the concrete collapses it is called collapse slump this is an indication that the water cement ratio is too high that is concrete mix is too wet 
or it is a high virulency mix for which a slump test is not appropriate. Sheer slump. If one half of the cone slides down, it is called sheer slump. The sheer slump indicates that the result is incomplete and concrete to be retested. So all this type of uh, slump has been shown in the figure. Now, second test is compaction factor test. It is a laboratory test and suitable for concrete mixes of very low urbanity or very dry concrete, as they are insensitive to slump test. This test is suitable to detect the variation in workability over a wide range. Its results are more precise and sensitive. This test work on the principle of determining the degree of compaction achieved by a standard amount of work done by allowing the concrete to fall through a standard height. Now I will talk about the procedure. The compacting factor operators consist essentially of two hoppers, each in the shape of a prostum of a cone and one cylinder, and three being above one meter. So it has been shown, operators have been shown in the figure. And now detailed procedure I will discuss. Place the concrete sample gently in the upper hopper to its brim using the hand scoop and level it, cover the cylinder. Open the trap door at the bottom of the upper hopper so that the concrete fall into the lower hopper. Push the concrete sticking on its side gently with the rod. Open the trap door of the lower hopper and allow the concrete to fall into the cylinder below. Remove the excess of concrete above the top layer of cylinder using travels and level it. Clean the outside of the cylinder. Weigh the cylinder with concrete. The weight is known as the weight of partially compacted concrete, that is W1. Empty the cylinder and then refill it with the same concrete mix in layers approximately 5 cm deep, each layer being heavily rammed to obtain full compaction. Level the top surface. Weigh the cylinder with fully compacted. This weight is known as the weight of fully compacted concrete, that is W2. Find the weight of empty cylinder, that is W. The compaction factor is defined as the ratio of the weight of partially compacted concrete to the weight of fully compacted concrete. It shall normally to be stated to the nearest second decimal place. Compaction factor value W1 minus W2 divided by W2 minus W. The compaction factor values ranges from 0 0.7 to 0 0.95. VV, third one is VV consist consistency test. It is a laboratory test and suitable for stiff concrete mixes having low and very low workability. Now I will talk about the procedure. The VB test operators consist of a VB consistometer. The operators consist of a vibrating table which is supported and mounted on elastic sup supports. Now I'll discuss the detailed procedure. Mix the dry ingredients of the concrete thoroughly. Fill a inform color is obtained and then add the required quantity of water. Pour the concrete into the slump cone with the help of the funnel fitted to the stand. Remove the slump mold and rotate the stand so that transparent disc touches the top of the concrete. Start the vi vibrator on which cylindrical container is placed. Due to vibrating action, the concrete starts remolding and occupying the cylindrical container. Continue vibrating the cylinder till concrete surface becomes horizontal. The time required for complete remolding in second is the required measure of the workability and it is expressed as number of VB seconds. Now I will talk about recommended uh, slum values for various concrete work. 
so now uh, uh, type of construction and recommended slump in millimeter minimum and maximum so first is pavement then minimum value is 25 mm maximum is 50 mm then mass concrete structure again 25 mm minimum 50 mm maximum then unreinforced footings 25 mm minimum 75 mm max caissons and bridge decks 25 mm minimum 75 mm maximum reinforced foundation footings and walls 50 mm minimum 100 mm slump maximum reinforce slabs and beams 30 mm minimum 125 mm maximum then columns 75 mm minimum and then 125 mm maximum now i'll discuss about recommended values of workability for various leasing conditions now in terms of condition degree and value of work so if concreting of shallow section with vibration is done then degree is very low and then values of workability 20 to 100 second vb time or 0 0.75 to 0 0.8 compacting factor then concreting of lightly reinforced section with vibration degree is low 10 to 5 second vb time or 0 0.8 to 0 0.85 compacting factor concreting of lightly reinforced sections without vibrations or heavily reinforced sections with vibrations then degree is medium 5 to 2 seconds vb time or 0 0.85 to 0 0.92 compacting factor or 25 to 75 mm slum for 20 mm aggregate and finally finally concreting of heavily reinforced sections without vibrations degree is high above 0 0.92 compacting factor or 75 to 125 mm slum for 20 mm aggregate. now i will discuss comparison of workability measurement by various methods now if it is extreme uh, workability is extremely dry then slump in mm we are not measuring compacting factor not measuring then vb time in second is 32 to 18 seconds then if it is very stiff then vb time in seconds is 18 to 10 seconds compacting factor is 0 0.70 if it is stiff then slump in mm 0 to 25 vb time in second 10 to 5 seconds compacting factor 0 0.75 if it is stiff plastic then slump is 25 to 50 vb time in second 5 to 3 seconds and compacting factor 0 0.85 then plastic 75 to 100 mm slump vb time in second 3 to 0 second compacting factor is 0 0.9 then workability is flowing then slump in millimeter 150 to 175 and then we are not measuring in vb time compacting factor is 0 0.95 so now i will discuss about relationship between strength and workability of concrete the strength of concrete defines the nature of concrete hence it is the most important property for us however its de dependency on other properties of concrete forces us to relate them with strength the strength is affected by density ratio or compaction and in turn compaction depends on sufficient workability fresh concrete should have a specific workability in order to obtain maximum density with a reasonable amount of work. However, excess workability can affect compressive strength or even lessen it. The compressive strength of concrete can decrease with an increase in the water cement ratio, which in turn increases workability. Hence, we could conclude that the strength of concrete is inversely proportional to the workability. So in order to obtain a specific strength of concrete, too much workability should be required. 
दोस्तों अगर आपको वीडियो पसंद आया हो तो लाइक और शेयर जरूर कीजिएगा जैसे कि जो इच्छुक इंजीनियर्स हैं एक्सपीरियंस पीपल हैं वो कंक्रीट टेक्नोलॉजी के बारे में सीख सके अगर हमारे चैनल पे अगर आप नए हैं तो सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें बेल आइकन को जरूर हिट कीजिएगा जिससे आपको लेटेस्ट अपडेट नोटिफिकेशन मिलता रहेगा हमारा मोटिवेशन बढ़ता रहेगा वीडियो देखने के लिए बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद